Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In a groundbreaking collaboration between NASA and Lockheed Martin, the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology, or QSST, is taking shape. Recently, a significant event unfolded in its development. The X-59 was previously supported by a jig system, which is similar to scaffolding. This recent development involves the removal of the X-59 from the jig system or external supports. This indicates that the aircraft has reached a significant stage in its assembly process and is now considered structurally sound. At Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Factory in Palmdale, California, the team responsible for assembling NASA's X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology airplane has achieved a significant milestone by completing a major work on the aircraft's wing section. The four-body section of the aircraft is designed to carry both the pilot and the avionics required for flight. while the aft section will house the powerful F-414GE engine and other critical systems. NASA recently conducted a flight test series at the Armstrong Flight Research Center in California to assess enhancements made to a flight instrument designed to measure the unique shock waves generated by the agency's X-59. Shock waves are a crucial aspect of supersonic flight, and understanding and managing them is critical to achieving quieter supersonic travel. And 836 confirm when in position. Yep, looks good. You're clear for the probing run. During the tests, the shock sensing probe was mounted on the nose of a NASA F-15 research aircraft, using techniques that will be applied in the X-59 acoustic validation. This probe measures the static pressure change through the shock waves and change in Mach number and flow angularity. Just go, don't worry about the... The X-51 is an unmanned experimental hypersonic aircraft developed by the United States, initiated to explore and develop technologies for hypersonic flight, which is defined as flight at speeds greater than Mach 5, or roughly five times the speed of sound. To test it, the aircraft is air-launched from a B-52 Stratofortress bomber. The X-51 is mounted onto a specialized pylon or adapter. This adapter is designed to attach securely to the B-52's wing or fuselage, depending on the specific mission requirements. Mission planners determine the optimal location on the B-52 for attaching the X-51 pylon. Factors such as the mission profile, launch altitude, and launch speed are considered when planning the precise location. The B-52 takes off from its base and flies to a designated launch point. This location is carefully chosen based on mission objectives, airspace safety, and other factors. At the designated launch point, the crew initiates the launch sequence. The first stage of acceleration is provided by a solid rocket booster. Good 
This booster is ignited and accelerates the X-51. Okay, can you see it? I can. One left, one left. Okay. Okay, I got him now. I got him now. We're fine. Good Data on the X-51's performance is collected throughout the flight, including speed, altitude, and other relevant parameters. Once the mission objectives are completed, the X-51 can either be remotely terminated or allowed to descend to the Earth's surface naturally. Developed by the Atlanta-based startup Hermes, the Chimera turbo ramjet engine represents a significant advancement in hypersonic propulsion technology. It is a turbine-based combined cycle engine, which means it combines elements of both a turbojet and a ramjet. This hybrid design allows for versatility in operation, making it suitable for a range of flight profiles. As a ramjet, it does not rely on a compressor before combustion. Instead, it uses the forward motion of the aircraft to compress incoming air, which is highly efficient at high speeds. Its ability to switch between turbojet and ramjet modes is crucial for its first aircraft, Quarter Horse, which can take off from a standard runway and then accelerate to high Mach speeds, enabling it to operate efficiently in various flight regimens. Space Engine Systems is a Canadian company involved in the development and testing of advanced propulsion technologies, specifically ramjet engines, with a focus on multi-fuel capabilities, including hydrogen. This versatility is a significant asset, allowing adaptability in different aerospace applications and mission profiles. During the testing, SES has observed the formation of supersonic diamonds. These visual indicators likely represent the successful achievement of supersonic speeds, specifically reaching Mach 5. Supersonic diamond patterns can appear when shock waves interact with the engine's exhaust flow, indicating the rapid acceleration of the ramjet-powered vehicle. The SR-71 Blackbird is one of the most iconic and legendary aircraft in aviation history. It is a high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft developed and operated by the United States Air Force until its retirement in 1998. The aircraft was famous for its incredible speed as it could reach sustained speeds of Mach 3.2 or approximately 2,200 miles per hour. At its top speed, it could cover the length of a football field in less than a second. It featured a unique design with a slender fuselage and forward swept wings, which reduced its radar cross section. Its speed and altitude capabilities allowed it to evade potential threats and fly faster than enemy missiles or interceptors could catch it. On December 22, 1964, the first flight of the SR-71 Blackbird was at the United States Air Force's Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. Such flight was crewed by Lockheed test pilot Bob Gilliland, who served as the pilot, and USAF Major. During the first flight, 
the SR-71 achieved a top speed of Mach 1.5, which was relatively modest compared to its eventual capabilities. The aircraft's initial flights focused on subsonic and transonic flight regimens before gradually pushing into supersonic and hypersonic speeds. The concept of supersonic flight was first explored in theory during the late 19th century. Still, it wasn't until the mid-20th century that practical efforts began to develop aircraft that could achieve supersonic speeds. On October 14, 1947, the Bell X-1, piloted by Captain Chuck Yeager, became the first aircraft to break the sound barrier in level flight officially. Later on, Bell X-2 was developed to explore hypersonic flight, which involves speeds much greater than the speed of sound. Both contributed significantly to understanding high-speed and supersonic flight, providing valuable data on aerodynamics, materials, and the physiological challenges pilots face at extreme speeds. Hush House testing is conducted to evaluate the performance, reliability, and functionality of aircraft engines, such as the General Electric F-101 turbofanjet, which powers the B-1 Lancer. Thrust measurement, fuel efficiency assessments, and temperature checks are conducted in proximity thanks to the capacity of the Hush House sound-absorbing materials and noise-dampening structure. Data from the tests can determine that, for example, such an engine can produce a maximum thrust of approximately 30,000 pounds of force per engine. A strategic bomber with variable sweep wings like the B-1 Lancer, requires regular and comprehensive maintenance to ensure its readiness for operational missions. Preventative maintenance involves inspecting and servicing critical components, such as engines, avionics, airframe, and hydraulics, to identify and address issues before they become major problems, with maintenance crews performing tasks like lubrication, inspections, and functional checks. During a B-1 takeoff, the afterburners are engaged to provide maximum thrust for the aircraft. Such components inject additional fuel into the exhaust stream, which creates a secondary combustion, resulting in a significant increase in temperature and pressure in the exhaust gases, contributing to a substantial increase in thrust. This allows the B-1 to accelerate rapidly down the runway. A remarkable display of raw power as the aircraft gains speed. The B-1 can perform flyovers at various altitudes, depending on the specific display or mission requirements. It is also a highly maneuverable aircraft, and during flyovers, it can perform multiple aerial maneuvers, including sharp turns and banking maneuvers, which is quite a feat, considering its wingspan of 137 feet. B-1 flyovers are often conducted during air shows, military events, and public ceremonies 
to showcase the aircraft's capabilities, requiring precise coordination and skill by the flight crew. Supersonic and hypersonic technology represents a compelling frontier in aviation and aerospace. With ongoing research, development, and innovation, these advancements hold potential to redefine how we travel, defend nations, and explore space in ways that were once only the stuff of science fiction. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.